particular tutorial, I am going to discuss a case of ovarian malignancy. So what is ovarian malignancy? Ovarian malignancy is cancer that affects the ovaries. This is a case of a 50-year-old who presented to our department with a swollen lower abdomen that was also tender. So on ultrasound examination, these are the sophisticated findings that you saw. You can see in the right adnexia was this complex mass that you see here and it was not distinguishable from the right ovary meaning to say it was most likely ovarian in nature so if you examine the lesion you can actually see that it had internal components solid components these are echogenic internal solid components and with interdigitations of cystic spaces as you are seeing here as you are seeing here so when you see an ovarian mass that has got solid internal components or with what are called the papillary excrescences, you suspect that mass to be malignant until tested otherwise. So this mass you are seeing here, it has got these solid internal components which are suggestive of intralesional masses as you see here. The other type of a mass that can actually present the same or that can have the son the same sonographic appearances is what is called a mucina sister adenoma however a mucina sister adenoma actually it contains mucin instead of solid components so a mucina sister adenoma can actually complicate to become malignant a condition then what we refer to mucinous sister adenoma so we could not rule out a mucinous sister adenoma from this presenting lesion so you can actually see that this lesion is very regular and these solid components it is very pertinent that whenever you are scanning a lesion or a mass you also have to interrogate it on power doppler so on power doppler in color doppler interrogation sorry you can actually see that there was no perfusion noted on ultrasound scan but there is an illusion that some ovarian malignant or some ovarian tumors they can actually present without perfusion but in actual fact they will be malignant in nature looking at it again you can see that we are not seeing any intralesional perfusion we just have got peripheral uh, perfusion that we are seeing here and then there is a little bit of ascites that is protruding here in the pelvic space so we are going to also look at the regional uh, regional and other regions around the abdomen as well to check if there is metastasis of the cancer or if there is ascites elsewhere the other sign of malignancy is it tends to send mates to other body organs like the liver it also can be associated with ascites assessing assessing the liver here you can actually see that uh, there is some free fluid in between the diaphragm and our liver and you can actually see that the fluid contains low level echoes and actually acoustic streaming is very much evident so our diaphragm is here you can see acoustic streaming here this fluid is moving it's moving it's moving to show that this is not a mass so on static images you can actually mistake this for a mass but it's not a mass it's actually fluid you can see that the fluid is actually uh, moving it has got kinetic energy here so what you are seeing here is our liver so you can actually see the capsule is also very much irregular suggesting that there was another pathological process that was taking place here it could also be liver cirrhosis so this is our pausating uh, iota which is somewhere here and you can actually see this ascites so this ascites because it's containing echogenic low level echoes is suggesting that it's actually infected ascites so this is the same patient 
with that ovarian lesion that we saw coming here you can actually also see uh, here in the peritoneal space you can see our ascites with the low level internal echoes and then a post streaming is still evident and you can see our floating bowels here bowels are floating and then we do have got our ascites there so this is it in terms of this case so you have to also appreciate that when we have got a malignant tumors they can be associated with these ascites so on further test this patient was confirmed to have ovarian malignancy. So there are exceptions when you are doing an ultrasound scan. You must take note of the cognizance that not all malignant tumors can have obvious intralesional perfusion as you can see from this type of a case. But you can also saw, we saw that there was evident uh, ascites in the peritoneal space and then the ascites was actually containing low level internal echoes so when you see a, a on ovary lesion with solid components inside be suspicious of malignance or suspect malignance thank you all thank you once again i hope you are subscribing to our channel and sharing as you watch as you learn thank you so much